Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to do a real evening to nighttime routine. Like I want to get in all the realness of my nighttime routine and just show you guys the, the real factors of what goes on in my evening to nighttime routine. So it is currently 2.30 right now and I gotta go pick Naraya up soon so I'm just like kind of getting ready this is what I normally do uh no, sometimes in the morning I get myself ready like I just do my makeup do other things to myself like my hair and stuff but today was Tuesday we had a holiday on Monday and I just kind of woke up today feeling like it was a Monday so I just kind of was not in the mood to get ready I wasn't really in the mood to do my makeup I wasn't really in the mood to do anything I just kind of wanted to relax I did get to clean my bathroom and I did clean my living room a little bit and I literally sat on my couch all day today and watched movies like I binge watched a bunch of movies that I haven't seen and I've been wanting to see especially because Naraya was back in school and TJ was playing with his toys like literally all day today so I, it was like a perfect day to just sit down and watch movies and I haven't done that in a really long time so I went back to back to like 2016 movies that I have never seen so it was actually a really nice relaxing morning so now it is almost the evening time it's already 2 38 actually and it's almost time to go pick Naraya up she is at school so I need to go pick her up and this is pretty much where my evening to nighttime routine starts so TJ did take a nap and he's been asleep for an hour already so I'm gonna have to get his sweater on and his shoes so we can go pick Sissy up. I always feel so bad, but he falls asleep at the wrong times. But at least he got an hour in.
reading program. Um, I know I talked to your teacher today. She said that you're doing really good in school. And that Mrs. B said that you are doing excellent in your reading program and that you're one of her top students. Um, did you have a sub today? Mm, yeah. How did that go? Good. Her name was I both started to fall off, so she put it back on. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. <laughs> Who'd you play with today? Oh, okay. Really? Oh, I should have never went this way. The high school students. I know. I don't know why I went this way. Why do I always come this way? she still gave them the Monday homework so they have a lot of homework um, but I wanted to kind of show you guys how I teach Mariah math or how she's learning with me and I actually got this method from a friend of mine at her school um, so because she told I asked her like how did how did it go like with the math homework because we actually got some hard math homework and so she told me what she did was she used Shopkins or LOLs and she just put them all out and let her count them so what Naraya has the most of is this, this whole bin is filled with My Little Ponies. So I've been using My Little Ponies. So I'll give you guys like examples in case you guys are struggling with teaching your five-year-old, four-year-old, six-year-old uh, math. Uh, I know that they do math now in kindergarten, which I never knew. <laughs> like I didn't, what I don't remember say? having to learn to do stuff like that. Count it. I don't remember having to do stuff like that. I just remember doing my outfits, singing songs, and going on lots of field trips. So I'll show you guys how we do it when we get on her map. All right, so this is how I have been doing it. So how many ponies are right here? Four. Okay, so go ahead and write four right there. So now she's going to write... Can you write this? Now she's going to write the four. And now I'm going to add... Let's see, I'm going to add how many? That one doesn't stand with that one. How many, how many did I add in? Two. Okay, so go ahead and write two. Now, how many ponies do I have total together? Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so four plus two equals? Six. Yes. 
No, equals, you put it over here. Oh yeah, you, you got it. Good job. Okay. Now, how many ponies do I have right here? Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so now I'm going to add in how many? Okay. Oh yeah, go ahead and write. Go ahead and write down six. And how many did I add? One more. In? Okay, so go ahead and put one. Now, how many ponies do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So six plus one equals? Seven. Good job. That is how we've been learning math. I love my little pony. <laughs> All right, so TJ and I are going to say our ABCs together, and then we're going to count to 10. So ready? A. Say A. No, you say A. A. B. A. C. C. D. C. E. E. F. A. G. G. H. A. I. I. J. C. K. K. L. Say L. L. M. A. N. A. O. A. P. P. Q, Q, R, R, S, A, T, say T, D, U, D, U, V, D, W, S, N, X, A, say X, A, Y, I, Z. I. Yay! Now let's count to ten. Do nine, one. Nine, no one. Nine, no one. Nine, say one. No, 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 you gotta say one, two, say two, he's so shy with the camera, say one, two, three, four, five, he's so shy, but I like to do that with him, so we did it in the morning, we did it during the afternoon, and then I did well, I'm trying to do it right now, but I'm probably gonna have to do it off camera because he's he's so shy. Normally he says his letters, like his alphabets, a lot better in his numbers, but I can look I see him right now. He's shy to have the camera on him. But that's what we do. Alright, so now that homework is done, learning is done, the kids can play and have some TV time. Today they're gonna watch the My Little Pony movie. That's my game. I bought that game. So I have been decorating around my house. Obviously I took off all the Christmas stuff. I'm just gonna go ahead and start putting up all of my pictures already. I think it's, I'm, it's time that I can start using my shelves under my TV. I've never used them because the kids were always so small and I didn't want them taking out pictures or anything like that, but they're pretty, they're pretty good about stuff like that. So I'm gonna start putting pictures under there. Um, I'm actually really excited because I've been, I've always wanted to do that when we got those shelves for the TV. I just never did it because like I said, they were all, they're, they've been small and I was one when we got that. And so growing up, I didn't let her, didn't put nothing right there. They were always empty because I didn't want her touching them. Same after she grew a little bit more, TJ was born than him. So now they're both at that age where they listen and they don't touch everything. So I'm gonna do it.
packing and organizing. I organized everything. I switched out all of my pictures. The kids were snacking in between and they had like tea and stuff and watching TV. They're relaxing, they're chilling. So I need to hurry up and make dinner because normally I make dinner at 5.30 but because I was organizing and putting all the pictures away, I barely finished and it's already six o'clock so I need to start making dinner. So I'm going to go in the kitchen right now and figure out what to make tonight. So I'll kind of just put like a little montage and then you guys will see when I'm done. <laughs> with my husband right now the food's cooking he's gonna be home late uh due to a family emergency which i'm just hoping everything will be okay but <sighs> you never know so um but yeah so i'm cooking dinner and just waiting to hear back from my husband and then after dinner when we're done eating we're gonna have to cook we're gonna have to eat without him um, so after we're done eating, we're going to, well, I got to take the kids a bath. Sorry, my words are all out of order right now because I'm kind of like worried, but, um, so I'm going to take the kids a bath and then after the bath, bedtime stories. And normally by then it's already like kind of time to go to bed. <laughs> Tonight's dinner is some Mexican rice, Spanish rice, red rice, however you guys want to call it, and chicken taquitos. And I'm going to put some lettuce. I was going to put lettuce and all that, but I just really don't feel in the mood for it. The kids love these, so we're going to eat dinner. socks on so now the kids are both showered and, and clean 
And it is already 7.30, so mommy is going to go take a shower. So you guys can sit down and play or watch TV. We were first. Yes. And mommy's next. Always. I always put you guys first. Why? Because I love you. Pretty much on the night time list is to brush my teeth. I'm gonna go to mine. My hair, sorry. I look so ratchet right now. So that's pretty much our realistic, real nighttime routine. I didn't like try to do things in order. I just filmed as I went on throughout the night and the evening. But um, unfortunately, my husband is still with his family. There is a family emergency today, so he isn't home. Um, I know a lot of people always ask, like, where is he and stuff like that. And I, I don't really explain it because I don't have to. But today I'm actually kind of and I'm just waiting for him so I'm not gonna go to bed right at this second but the kids are and I'm just gonna try to wait up for him just so that way um, I'm, I'm awake when he's home when he gets home so but anyways thank you guys so much for watching if you guys enjoyed please give it a thumbs up also click the subscribe button for more videos and have a great night bye